everybody i'm back with a get ready with me using new makeup so let's just get to it all right first off i started off with a new cleanser by md solar sciences and this is the wash away one step cleanser what i like about it is that it doesn't dry the skin and now i'm going to use my verso super eye serum and this does a good job of reducing signs of aging and I'm just gonna gently apply it under my eye and on the outer perimeter. And for my serum, I'm going to use the Medicaid Clarity Peptide Serum. And I'm using this because it boosts radiance. For my moisturizer, I'm using my Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This moisturizer works really well under my makeup and I'm just gonna massage that in really good. For my brows, I'm going to start off with this Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Shaping Gel. This isn't new, but I'm going to start off with this. After I apply the gel, I'm going to go in with my Sephora pencil and just kind of fill in a lot of the sparse spaces in my brows. And I'm going to carve out my brows with this Sephora Matte Foundation. And I just like using it because it plays really well with a lot of the eyeshadows. And I don't have to set it. Um, you can set your eyeshadow base if you like or you don't have to set it. So I'm just going to continue to apply this. And after that, I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow. All right, so I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette, and this is the Smoky Eyes palette. I'm going to first start off with the Love Eyes number one, and that's going to be my brow bone highlight. And next, I'm going to go in with Power Eyes number one, and I'm going to use that a little bit above my crease. And I'm going to blend that in. And as you can see, it's not patchy and it blends really well. All right, next up, I'm going to use Confident Eyes shade number two. And I'm going to apply this deep into my crease. And you'll notice after this particular shade, I go in with Happy Eyes using number three. And the only reason that I layered the lighter shade on top of the deeper shade is because I wanted a little bit of the red to show through or the burgundy, but not much. So I'm just going to blend those two shades out. Okay, so now I'm going in with Happy Eyes using shade number two. And I'm not going to wet my brush because I never do when I use Charlotte Tilbury's palettes because it's, I just don't see the need to. And you'll see that it shows up very vibrant and you can see it. It goes on with ease. Then I'm going to go in with Happy Eyes using shade number one and I'm going to put that on the inner eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend those two out. Okay, and to deepen up my crease, I'm going to add Confident Eyes shade number two, and I'm just going to put that on the outer V. Mm -hmm. 
And now we're going to add happy eyes number three on my lower lash line, which I'm going to have to add more of it after I finish my complexion. So now I'm going in with my foundation. Well, actually, this is a tint and this is Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. This is the multi do Skin Tint. And the shade that I have it in is Extra Tan, which is number nine. And what I can say about this tint is that it's very hydrating and you actually, I was surprised at the coverage. I thought the coverage would be better than what it is. Um, but overall, I think that you can achieve a natural look with this, but to get any type of coverage, you're gonna have to layer it. Um, and if you, you really do have to be careful when you're layering it, as you can see, you have to add a lot to get any type of coverage. And for a concealer, I'm gonna use my one size concealer. This is supposed to be full coverage. The shade that I have is medium dark four. And I'm just using this or applying it like this for highlighting purposes. And I do like the fact that it's full coverage. For the contouring, I'm using this Maybelline multi-purpose stick. I've used it before. I like using it, it's simple to use, plus I like the shade. Next up for powder, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Powder. This is their anti-pollution setting powder and the shade that I have it in is a three. And I'm shocked at this. I like the shade. I think the shade goes really well with my skin tone. And now I'm just going to set the concealer with my Wet n Wild powder that I always talk about and I'm just going to blend all of that out. Alright, so next I'm going to use this Sephora S Clean Blush Palette. This is a cream palette and I have it in Spiced and I love creams. So I always talk about how much uh, fun they are to work with and as you can see you can apply creams over powder. Next up, I am going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Light Catcher Powder. I have it in Cosmic Rose. And I didn't think that you could apply this all over, but I'm applying it everywhere, except for directly under my eyes. And I thought I would look like a disco ball, but I don't. I did apply a little bit more along the normal highlighting areas, like the cheek, the nose, and forehead, but I think it looks pretty. All right, next I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Pigment Lipsticks and the shade that I have it in is Comeback Queen. I need every shade. I love the packaging and especially the lipsticks. They're so pigmented and very, very creamy. And last but not least, I'm going in with my PYT Beauty one and done setting spray and you do have to shake this up really good i don't like the way this smells but it has a lot of good ingredients in it and from my understanding part of this packaging is supposed to be recyclable so yeah if you're looking for a new setting spray you might want to check this one out all right, and this is the final look. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And before you go, I did want to quickly tell you all about a cleanser that I received uh, by Dam Dam, and this is their purifying cleanser. Um, it's really good. It's made in Japan, and it's really good at getting makeup off if you're looking for a good cleanser for that. So. Thanks again to Dam Dam and MD Solar Sciences.